What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vega and today we're going to be talking about where to buy flannels in this fall season 2021. Now here's the thing, some of you out there probably spend a lot of money on flannels and you don't got to do that man. You don't have to spend a hundred dollars because no one's going to really know whether that's a hundred dollars or five dollars as long as the pattern is on point the quality is somewhat decent and at the end you're happy with it that's all that matters today we're gonna go ahead and talk about flannels that start anywhere from eleven dollars all the way to thirty dollars and in my opinion all of these look great and here's the thing some of these flannels i got them in places that you would have never even dared to check so i'm gonna also put you onto those as well so with that out of the way let's get right into the video First things first, I'm going to have links in the description down below for all of the flannels that I'm going to go ahead and talk about today. I'm also going to talk about the quality, the sizing and the patterns, which is very important. This one right here is from Amazon. I don't know about you, but me personally, I don't think about fashion when I think about Amazon. And this is actually from their own brand. It's not like another brand or anything like that. It's from Amazon Essentials. $20 and the pattern is actually not bad at all. And they have a bunch of other patterns, by the way, and other colors that you can go ahead and check out. This one is also from Amazon. So as you can see, I like this one. I actually got even another one as well. So for $20, you actually are getting something that is worth it. And Amazon has free next day shipping. So you buy them now, you get them tomorrow. You really cannot beat that. Up next, we have another flannel from another spot that you wouldn't even think that they had any kind of fashion sense or at least sell good flannels, right? Costco. Costco. Let me tell you, you guys are selling some good flannels, man. You guys are, you guys are good. $11 and some change. I don't remember. It's like 11, 60 something or 50 something. It doesn't matter. 11 and some change. The cheapest one on the list, but the quality is actually better than the other ones or at least some of them. $11 and some change. It has yellow, red, gray. I mean, the pattern is also on point. It's not a basic pattern either. It just looks good. This is something that it just it just blows my mind that people spend $100 or $80 on flannels when you can get this for $11 and some change. So go to your local Costco. Go ahead and check it out. The sizing is pretty true to size. It's not oversized or anything like that. But again, for $11 and some change, you really cannot go wrong. The next flannel is $30 and it is from Uniqlo. And I feel that this one has the most bang for your buck. Although it's the most expensive one on this list, you can actually dress it up and you could dress it down. For example, this one right here is in brown and a nice brown actually with a blue uh, pinstripe. I can easily, easily rock this to work. I can go ahead and rock some khakis dress shoes chelsea boots you get the vibes now i can go ahead and rock it to work all of those office vibes however i can easily unbutton this one rock a t-shirt underneath rock some chinos some jeans sneakers and now i have more of a casual look that looks good for the fall time so again this one you can go ahead and dress it up dress it down thirty dollars the quality is on point just like almost anything that Uniqlo sells. Sizing is also true to size. However, I would say that uh, the sizing on Uniqlo sometimes is a little bit more tapered. So just take that into consideration. It's not gonna be as oversized as this one right here. So if you want something a little bit more clean, uh, better quality, then Uniqlo is definitely the way to go. One last tip that I wanna give you is that if you have a Uniqlo nearby, go there go to the store instead of online because they have more uh, options on the in the store more colors more patterns that you can actually check out instead of online that all of the flannels for the most part always sell out so just keep that in mind but again 30 dollars sizing is good quality is on point you cannot go wrong last but not least we have another spot that has trendy and affordable items all year round and i'm talking about h&m H&M has very good flannels for $20 to $25. You can get this one right here or you can get different patterns as well as they have that. This one, I got it last year. I needed a yellow flannel for my fall lookbook and which by the way, fall lookbook is dropping very soon and more fall outfit content on the way. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because I got your back, bro. I got you. Either way, you can always go to your local H&M and get something. And 
with fall season right here this is no exception you can go over there for 20 25 dollars you can get a flannel that is just a regular flannel no nothing special it's not like high quality it's not a bad price they're just like right in the middle so if you are on the go and you need some good flannels they have these right here that come in yellow black red and they also have other patterns so again if you need something that you are kind of like in a rush just go to your local H&M and you should be good to go. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, man. When it comes down to flannels, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I mentioned that over and over in this video. So keep that in mind. I hope that some of these flannels work out for you. Like I mentioned, whatever is available, I'm going to go ahead and put links in the description down below. But if you found this video informative and entertaining, you already know the vibes, man. Go ahead and subscribe smash the like button it really does mean a lot and also hit that bell that way you get notified every single time i drop a video also guys if you're not doing so follow me on instagram at carlos vega 101 i'm always updating the date and time of my videos and it's just a good little way to keep up with me as well so with that being said till next time peace